Hey YouTube, thanks for joining us again for a fantastic Nemo's video. We've got a great one here for you today. This is going to be the start of our 1200 gallon build for a restaurant called Rocket Pizza in downtown Charlotte. It's going to be a massive tank. It's 12 feet long, 50 inches wide, and 36 inches tall. This thing was built by Joe over at Glass Cages, and I want to give that guy a special shout out. He was very instrumental in making sure that we were able to get this beast built properly and engineered safely. But most importantly, the guy drove all the way from Dixon, Tennessee to hand deliver this aquarium to us. During the course of this video, you guys are going to be able to just see what logistics and what it takes to actually move a 1200 gallon tank. It's an enormous undertaking and I'll give kudos to the owners of the restaurant. That's uh, Casey there you see driving the forklift. They wanted to get their hands dirty and they wanted to make sure that they actually were instrumental in getting the aquarium just through the doors. The whole process was exciting but nerve-wracking for me at the same time. Just watching this 1200 gallon tank getting lifted up off the ground by a forklift you know 12 feet up over some stairs and into a very expensive building it was something that i'm glad casey was doing and not myself we definitely plan on documenting the build process for this tank and giving you guys updates with the youtube videos along the way but this thing is just getting started here. The next installment we're gonna have is actually getting the tank onto the stand. And we'll be having another video following up with that shortly, but I want you guys just to relax and enjoy watching us just get this thing put in place. The tank itself is gonna sit right in the middle of the bar, so it's gonna be surrounded by everybody drinking and having a great time. It's going to be viewable from all four sides. And we're lucky enough to actually get the tank with Starfire glass, front, back, and the sides. I want to give Joe uh, at Glass Cages a special little shout out for helping us out with that special feature of the tank. The tank's going to have a special island style overflow in the center of the tank. This is going to give us as much viewing as possible. You know, this is a truly large tank and it blows my mind that we were able to just move this thing into the building with just three people. Although, shifting this pallet left and right on these pallet jacks was definitely not easy. Coming up here, we were actually really fortunate because this thing barely fit down the hallway. We only had about two, maybe three inches on either side. If you guys actually look close, there are little furniture sliders on the bottom of the pallet now. And if you've ever doubted the strength and versatility of furniture sliders, you now know that they can move a 2,000 pound pallet pretty easily. So here the owners are seeing the tank for the first time and it's a little nerve-wracking when you're unwrapping a giant Christmas present like this but they were ecstatic with the build quality. Joe, the owner of Glass Cages, was able to be there and walk them through every little bit and detail that they put into this tank and I think Overall, everybody was super amazed and super happy about how the tank came out. So now the tank is just outside of the restaurant and we've got to figure out how to get it into the restaurant and onto the stand. But that will be in our next installment of Rocket Pizza's 1200 gallon build here. So just to make sure you guys don't miss it, give us a like, give us a subscribe. That will really help us grow our YouTube channel and keep giving you guys some different content over the course of our builds. 
But check out that sump. 